Hey guys, what's up? It's Yvonne here at YvonneManna.com. And in this video, I wanna show you how to create a remarketing audience for your Google Ads as we're approaching 2023. And remarketing is just incredibly important because as statistics show, over 97% of people who visit your site for the first time are likely to leave without buying anything. And so if you're able to remarket to these people and show them your ads, your products or services, again, they are more likely to come back and to actually purchase whatever it is you're offering. So the magic is in the remarketing and that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do here in Google Ads. I'm going to show you how to set up remarketing and then I'm going to show you how to create an audience and then how you can use that in your actual campaign, all right? So before we get into it, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell icon, so you get notified when I release more videos like this, showing you the various tools to help you succeed online. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So this is going to be our Google Ads account that we'll be using. And I'm going to be using Unbounce as the landing page builder of my choice here. I have been using these guys for about four or five years now. Amazing, amazing, amazing landing page builder. Can't uh, praise them enough. Just been incredibly happy with them over the past few years. If you guys want your own trial of Unbounce, you can check it out at go.evonmena.com slash Unbounce and you get a 14 day free trial and 20% off. This is an exclusive discount, 20% off on your first three months or a year, depending on the plan you choose. So definitely something you can't get anywhere else. But anyway, we're gonna be using Unbounce here and this is our Google Ads account. So the first thing we wanna do is set up retargeting code or remarketing code on our pages. That's the first thing we wanna do before we build an audience. So we're gonna click on tools and settings. We're, we're going to click on audience manager and we have to set up a code. So we are not ready to select an audience yet. We have to go into your data sources over here. And we have a tag here that was set up. You might not see this. So I have this from, I guess, doing this in a, in a previous video. Uh, you might see this Google Ads tag option right over here. So all you're gonna do is click on select or click on use, something like that. So what I'm gonna do here is click on details and it's gonna do the same thing. So this is gonna be the tag. It's gonna show you something like this. You're gonna scroll down, you're gonna click on tag setup and you're going to click on install the tag yourself. And what you wanna do is take the code that they give you, okay? So the Google Ads tag, the interface might look a little bit different for all of you. Google constantly changes their interface. So the point is you wanna select Google Ads tag option and you wanna go to this tag option right here. In, in, on my screen, it's here at the bottom of the page. And so we wanna paste this below the head tags of every page on the site, okay? This is important for remarketing. We do wanna put it on every page of the site. So what we're gonna do is we're going to copy this code Copy, we're going to come back into my Unbounce page builder. We're going to open the landing page and the thank you page here. And then we're going to add the code to both of these pages. If you are able to add the code to all your pages right away, then, then you, can, you can do that. In this case, here is our landing page and this is my thank you page. So this is the landing page. I'm going to click on JavaScript over here. I'm going to click on add new JavaScript. I'm going to paste the code right here, I'm going to name it Google Ads Remarketing, and I'm going to select head. And obviously not all of you guys are using Unbounce, that's okay. Whatever page builder you're using, you wanna add this code in the head section of the page. In ClickFunnels, I think it's in the top left. In Lead Pages, top left as well. WordPress, you can install a plugin called Headers and Footers. If you're not sure and you really can't find it, you can always contact support and just ask them, say, hey, I have a Google Ads tag code I wanna set up on my site. Where is the setting for that? Where can I add my code to the page? And they should be able to direct you. So we're gonna click done here. We're gonna save our landing page. We're going to come back to the thank you page and do the same thing. We're gonna click add new JavaScript. We're going to paste that here. We're gonna say Google Ads Remarketing, we just say remarketing code or we don't have to say code. We just say remarketing because that's obvious that it's code. We're gonna click head. We're gonna, we're gonna click done and save. And that should be it. So it's been saved. These two pages, these two now should have the Google Ads code on the page. So we can come back here and that is pretty much it. So this looks good. And then what you guys can also do is download on Google Chrome the legacy 
uh, tag assistant extension, this one. So if you pin it over here, you should now see it here. And as you can see here, it has the little green. That means it's been added successfully. And then on thank you page, we can do the same thing. Refresh it. And we're gonna enable it on this page too. We're gonna refresh it again. And you see it here. The global site tag is what matters. And then for the remarketing, we will still have to now create an audience list for this, right? So we've set up the tracking, but now we have to go back inside of Google Ads and we have to create the audience list that corresponds to these pages. So once that is done, you're good to go. You're gonna click on segments and this is where we're gonna create our audience list. So you're, you're gonna click on plus, you're gonna select website visitors and you're gonna give it a name. So for the first audience list, let's suppose we wanna create an audience list of people that visited our page over here. They visited, but they have not signed up, okay? So these are the people we wanna retarget to and give them another chance to sign up for this offer. So we're gonna come back here, we're gonna say website visitors, and then we'll say did not sign up to explain exactly what audience name this is. And we're gonna say visitors of web pages. So we wanna target these people that visited these specific pages. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on refine and we're gonna say the page URL has to contain these words right here. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna come back here, go to paste. We're gonna delete the HTTP. And if the URL, if the page URL contains this, that means they're website visitors. However, we wanna exclude people. We're gonna click action here under exclude. We wanna exclude people that visited the thank you page because we don't wanna target people that already signed up. We wanna send those people a different message. So we're gonna come back here. We're gonna delete all this contains and that is it. So do you see what we've done here? We've created an audience list of people that visited our landing page but have not signed up. And the way we've done that is we said the URL, we wanna include people who visited our landing page, but we wanna exclude people who signed up. Does that make sense? And then over here, if you had the code already added to your page, you could pre-fill the segment with people who matched the rules in the past 30 days, but this is a brand new code. So we unfortunately, even if we select this option, nothing's gonna happen. Or you can just start completely from scratch up to you. I do like to add this option here in case the code was already added. One more thing you could also do is you could select people, so you could create an audience list of people that have visited your pages in the past X number of days. The maximum you can say is 540. So a year and a half, that's the maximum. You cannot do any more than that. So a healthy number I think is 90 days. However, you can experiment because the longer the time set that you put, the higher the chance that people forgot about your offer, right? So over here, we wanna also specify, we wanna say 90 days because later on we could create different remarketing lists. We could say one for 30 days, we can say one for 45 days, so on and so forth and we can test. And then you can also add a description if you like. So we could say people who visited our landing page but didn't sign up in the past 90 days, if you like. Then we're gonna go down, we're gonna click on create segment and that is it, okay? So we've successfully created this segment here, it's now populating and it's now that we've added the code is going to be getting more and more customers. Now let's suppose you wanna create another audience list, audience list of people that have signed up to our page, right? So we can come in here, we can click plus, we can say website visitors and we can say people who signed up or let's say leads, right? We can shortcut leads and we can say 90 days. Let's suppose we wanna do 90 days. And then again, we can do visitors of a web page. We can refine action. We can say page URL contains, and we would enter this page here, paste. And we can remove that. And as long as the URL contains these words here, so this URL, this is going to be a person that's going to be added to our list. And we can say here 90 days. You can also add more action. So you can add an or, you can say people that, let's suppose you have a store that sells many different products and you wanna target anybody who bought any of your products. Then you would select or, for example, you would say people that bought this product or this product or this product, you can do that. Alternatively, you can select and. You can say, hey, I want people who visited my homepage, visited my about me page, visited my contact page, visited my course page, so on and so forth. I wanna target those people because those people are 
probably very engaged, an, an engaged audience, I mean. So you can do that, right? So that's how you would utilize this and feature if there are many different things. Or let's suppose you have many different uh, products you wanna sell and you wanna target people that bought all five of your products, then you would say and, 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 and you would keep adding actions. Does that make sense? And then obviously you can exclude. So you can exclude people that have done a certain action. You can either exclude it here or when you actually create your campaign, you can also exclude audience lists there. So you can, for example, target people that purchased product X, but did not purchase product Y. So you can exclude those people. So again, you can create an audience list like that, or when you actually create the campaign, you can exclude and include certain audiences. And then over here, same thing, we can pre-fill or we can add a description. So that's pretty straightforward here for leads. We're gonna leave that blank and click on create. And so for the list that you created, let's suppose this one, if you click here, if you made one by accident or you, you wanna change things up, you can click here and you can remove the list. You can edit the list going back to where we were. For the default one, unfortunately, you can't do anything with it. So this is the Google Ads one. Even if you click here, you cannot delete it, but that's okay. So that's how you create the remarketing lists, all right? So now how do you actually use them? So when you create a new campaign, let me quickly show you where you would go. You would go into new campaign. I'll just briefly show you, let's say display campaign, just to show you where to go for the settings. And then we're gonna go to targeting, add targeting. Over here, you would go into audience segments and you would select this option here. So you would go into browse, and over here, you're gonna be selecting this third option from the bottom right here. And then here you have website visitors. These are the lists that you created. So when you create a remarketing campaign, you'll be able to target these people. So you can target people that are leads, for example, people that have signed up. You can say, hey, you've signed up to this. You know the product is good. Here's something you can buy. You can do that. Or you can target people, in this case, the other list we did, people that did not sign up. And you can say, hey, you didn't sign up. What's up? Do you want to try a different page? Here's a different page, or maybe here's more information about our product, so on and so forth. So this is where you would go to actually target them, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. You should now know how to set up remarketing, how to set up the tag, how to create remarketing lists, and then how to actually use those lists when you create the campaigns. If you enjoyed this video, guys, definitely take a look at my website at ivanmana.com where I offer a free guide for affiliate marketing showing you how to make money online as well as have a variety of training courses such as the Google Ads retargeting course, which shows you in more detail how to set up retargeting, how to set up advanced audiences, and how to use Google Tag Manager, how to set it all up, and how to be very proficient and be able to retarget all those people. So that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.